This is the first session out of a few sessions that I created around Ring Central integration with Zoho One. I created multiple videos that will allow you and your team to be the most efficient and productive using those two systems. There is the basic integration between Ring Central and Zoho, not that impressive. And we spent lots of time and effort to create a special integration that will make Ring Central work perfectly with Zo CRM and the other applications. In this session, we are going to concentrate on the integration between Zo and Ring Central. It's very basic, anybody can do it. You don't need a developer or spend money on it. Obviously, if you bought Ring Central from us, we will do it for you. And in addition, you will also receive one year free of charge, our special integration between Zo and Ring Central. Okay, so if you don't have Ring Central, buy it from us. You will get the same price like Ring Central with all the benefits of Ring Central plus our integration. In this session, we are going to cover how to integrate Zo One with Ring Central, how to authenticate, how to install our special integration with Ring Central making your first phone call, first SMS, and first video conferencing on Zo. Let's begin. So first of all, you will need to go to your Zo CRM. You will click on the gear icon on the top, which is the setup. And then you will search on the top. You will search for telephony. Okay, and that will be this guy. You will click on it. And then you will need to click on view configuration. Then you will need to click on learn more under telephony. And if you want another way to do it, you can go to ZO1. And from ZO1, you will need to click on the directory icon that exists here. You will need to go with the cursor to the right side. And I will show you in a second why. You see there is a secondary menu that was opened. But if your cursor is on the left side, the first menu will cover the right menu. So if you're on the side, you will see it. Then you will need to click on the marketplace and then learn more. Okay, so there are two options to go to this page. Once you click on learn more, in my case, I have already integration, I will go back and then I will click on view marketplace. And then you will see Ring Central. If you don't see it, you will write Ring Central and then you will see this integration. Don't be mistaken by a different integration, and I will show you. So this is the right one. Another one that is not the right one is when you go to Marketplace, you click on Browse Applications, and here you will have a different Ring Central integration. This is not the one that I was talking about, okay? Don't mi mistake the two. So let's go again to Marketplace, learn more and then Ring Central. Once you click on it, on the right side, click on Install. It will ask you which users you want to assign. I will have all the users in my side, and I will click on Done. And now Ring Central wants to integrate with my system. I will click on Login to Ring Central, and I am going right now to Authenticate. It's going to be on my test account. Okay, let me just confirm that it's me. Okay, I will authorize it. And if you want, you can just have your username and password. But in any case, this is the easiest for me. Then here, uh, you will have multiple options. In my case, I have only one phone call, phone line. So I will I have that here, and then I will accept. And now the integration is done. In order for you to know if the integration is really done, you can click on the CRM, and on the right side, you should see the phone symbol. If you don't see the phone symbol, go back again, redo the integration process. Sometimes, for some reason, it's not working in the first time, and you need to redo it. Let's check one second the ZO1 integration options. In the app info, you will see different data 
on this integration. In the preference, you will have the general preferences. Okay. Do not log missed calls if other ZO user answered it. Please turn it on. Otherwise, it will log missed calls that people already answered. And therefore, it's not really a missed call. The Zodex preferences, later on I will show you what to do here. And manage users, here you can add more users that need to have access to this integration. Most of the companies will not need all the employees to have access to Ring Central, so there is no point of having them here. In my case, both users should have access to it. Let's jump to the CRM. Let me refresh the, CR the CRM. And then on the right bottom, if I will click on the phone, I will have preferences, show a call pop-up in Zo CRM when an, there is an incoming call, or do not show the pop-up. In my case, I will show the pop-up. If you click on preferences, it will ask you, how do you want to have phone calls? Ring out, browser, soft phone, or the app. The Ring Central app is amazing. In order to have that, you will need to go to Ring Central download app. And when you have that, you will have two options, one for Mac and one for Windows. Okay, this is a very, very sophisticated application. It's very good and I have more videos that will show you exactly how to optimize it to your needs. It's fantastic. In my case, I will have that and then I will save. Okay. So this integration is done. Next, we are going to integrate with our special integration kit that we created for Ring Central and Zo. In order to do that, the integration is not ready on the marketplace yet, but I will show you what to do. You will need to click on all. And then in the search, just write ABR. And one of the integrations here will be Ring Central integration with Zo. Okay, that will be one of the extensions that we create. Until then, if you are one our clients and you want to use this integration because people that buying the system from us will get it for one for free we will give you a link to this integration and you can install it on your site i am going to paste the url of the extension here the extension is asking me if i can give permission to this extension obviously i need to if I want to give this extension to everybody or just specific users, in my case, I will give it to everybody in the company, or you can also give it to specific profiles. I will give it to everybody. And here you will have the price. If again, if you, are, you bought Ring Central from us, let us know, you will not pay this fee, okay? And I will go with a 10 day free trial. I will pause the video because I don't want to waste your time and whenever the installation is done, I will proceed. Okay, the installation is done and now I have this page. On this page, I will need to authorize the extension to talk to my CRM. I will click on authorize and then I will click on accept. It will authorize click messages that whenever there is a new text message, for example, you will receive a text message on, on click and also CRM. And uh, let's approve that. And I will click on finish. Okay. So right now the integration is over. And the only thing I need to do is to have here the outgoing phone number. Basically, what is the outgoing phone number that is in your ring central? In my case, I don't really remember. I will go to ring central. Then I will go to contacts and then I will click on myself. The direct number is the number that I need to use. So that will be the 561-725-3483. And I will put it here. Now, please have the area code, the country code in the number, even though that you have it on the left side in the country code, please have it also here, it's important, okay? And the data center URL will be 
the same like this one. So what you have here is crm.zo.com, you will have also here crm.zo.com. If it's different, click here and change it manually. Okay, usually it should be okay. And let's click on connect with Spring Central. I will continue as Dior Isaac. And if you don't see it like that, just log into your account and authorize. Okay, and now this is done. We'll save settings. And your integration is ready to go. And now we are going to run some tests and to see if it's actually working. And let's create a new contact. We'll call it Lior Isaac and the mobile number will be 647-891-9005. We'll click on save. Now the extension will be here. You will see ABR communication system. In order for you to push it up, you will click on the related list and then you will click on it and then you will push it up because text messages, as an example, will be a critical tool for you. And let's click on save. Okay, and that point I will say, hello, Lior, what's up? And we'll send it and let's see if I received it in my device. Okay, and I just responded. And you will see it here. So first of all, you saw that there is a click message that was sent to me that everything is good. And also you will see that the chat was updated. Now you can also use the templates, but I'm going to touch all that later on in the process. One more thing that uh, I want you to see, you will have in the extension, Okay, if I click on settings, you will see that you have here some kind of a bot, a click bot. In order for you to have it properly done, you will need to go to click.zo.com. You will need to create, create a bot. And you click on the picture on the right side. You go to bots and tools. And let's create here a new bot. And let's call it SMS messages. Now you will need also to have a description for it. So do whatever you want here. Put it on the organization level. And now let's click on save bot. And let's go again and click here and go to bots. And that was the bot that we created. So if you click on it, you will see that you have here the name of the the name of the bot, the way that the system wants to get it. Okay, this is how a human will read it. This is how a system will read it, which is all lowercase, no spaces. SMS messages, and I will copy that. Okay, this is what you need, not that. Okay, this one. I will go here and I will have the SMS messages as my click notification bot. And then I will save settings. Let's go back to the record that we were playing with. And now if I will send another message, the message will be received under the SMS messages bot. And that will be a single place that all the notifications will come to, which is awesome. Okay. Now, if we go to the uh, ABR communication, you will see it here obviously, and from here you can communicate. Next, let's try to have a test phone call. If I will click on the call, it should use Ring Central to have the call, outgoing call. I will go to the phone system on the right side, phone button, and I will have a different video also on how to do all that. So don't uh, worry too much about it. If we go to the preferences, I see that I have here the Ring Central app. This is exactly what I need. We'll click on save. We'll try to call and then it will say, say that the, I want, if I want to open the Ring Central app, I will say yes. Okay. And I will choose my office. Okay. And the 
the number now is calling. So you see it's ringing here and it's coming to my phone and everything is good. Okay. Now, if I will try to call the same number, in my case, this is the weekend, it will not really ring because we have, uh, we have, actually it is, because my extension actually it's, it's, it's separated. So in this case, you can see that I'm calling and now, one second, and now I can basically have the communication between the two. All those phone calls are going to be logged in the CRM. So let's stop this call. And soon you will see under the closed activities, it takes a little bit of time, few minutes. Then you will see under the closed activities that you will have the incoming call and the outgoing call. And also for each one of them, you can also have the recording. Priceless. It's all in one place. It's beautiful. Uh, in the next videos, I am going to show you how to have the video system, which is like Zoom, just much better because you have many more options. I will have a full video around the video conferencing. I will also have a video that will show you how to integrate per user. So every user need to use these videos, phone calls, and it will be a video for that you will distribute this video to each one of your employees and they will know exactly how to integrate the same way that we did here. Step by step, click, 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 and then their system will be integrated. So a few more videos coming. Be productive, stay optimized. <music>